Krishna Ganesh and my team members, Anna, Vekit and Adi, we are here to explain about gravitation. What is the meaning of gravitation? Definition of gravitation is the force that attracts a body towards the center of earth or towards any other physical body having mass bigger than the second object. For example, earth has bigger mass than moon, that's why the moon is orbiting the earth. Gravity was found a long time ago, the 4th century before century. The Greek philosopher who, who is Aristotle believed that there is no effect or motion without the cause of the downward motion or every body such as element earth was related to their nature which caused them move downward towards the center of universe. Founder of gravi gravi gravitation is Isaac Newton. May 1686, Newton denied Hooke's idea about gravity and Isaac Newton made his own theory and formula for gravity that we use it until now with some improvement from Albert Einstein. Why is gravitational force is important to our daily life? Gravity is very important to our everyday lives because without gravity, we would fly right off it. We all have to be strapped down, but certainly couldn't live, we couldn't live without gravity. Gravity also important on a large scale. It's the sun gravity that keep the earth in orbit around the sun. Life on earth need the sun's light and warmth to survive. Gravity helps the earth to stay just right distant from the sun. So it's not too hot or too cold. Okay, for today, there are a few types of gravity I would like to tell you guys. But for now, I'll present to you, to you some of them. The first one is sun gravity. The sun has a lot of gravity pull. This, and it also makes up 99% of the total mass from the solar system. Because of its massive size, the sun exerts a lot of gravity pull and on other planets in the solar system, enough to make them orbit around their axis. Next is the Earth gravity. The gravity pull that our Earth produces helps to keep us on the ground and this also allows engineers to build skyscrapers taller than ever. Next is the Moon gravitational. That is not that much as we can see around us but the impact of the moon gravity is the main cause of tidal waves. This is because 96% of our planet Earth are made up of water. Now is the formula of the gravitation. First, the formula is F equals G M1 M2 over R squared. F is the force between two objects. G is the universe, universal gravitation constant, like the, this one. G is equal to 6.67 times 10 power negative 11 mm Newton meter square per kg square. M1 and M2 is mass of the object. R square is distance between two objects. Like you calculate like M1, this is the object of M1, this is mass of the first object, M2 mass of the second object. Between this is R square, the distance between them. The example of the inside the textbook, I will explain for it. Like this M1 and M2, this is distance. They sit between in, in the classroom. Then R equal to 0 0.5 meter, M1 is 50 kilo, M2 75 kilo. This is the formula of the calculation. F equal G M1 M2 over R squared. Then G. 6.67 times 10 power of negative 11 newton meter square and m1 m2 15 kilo 
M2 75 kilo, R square equal to 0 0.5 meter square. You, div you times it and divide it equal to 1 times 10 power of negative 6 newton. This example is about the student inside the air pen. Then this yeah, distance is about 4,000 4, feet. Then this is the earth. We are calculating the determine the force. M1 is the gravitation actually between the earth. M2 is the student mass. And these are like this. These are like 6.39 times 10 power of M. And this is the G of the calculation. M1 over here. Uh, F gravitation, the force of gravitation equal to 6.67 times 10 power of negative 11 newton meter square per kilogram square times 5.898 times 10 power of 24 kg times 17 kilogram over 6.39 times 10 power of 6 meter square equal to 684 Newton. In the beginning, there was darkness, and then, bang, giving birth to an endless expanding existence of time, space, and matter. Now, see further than we've ever imagined, beyond the limits of our existence, in a place we call the universe. It is both mighty and meek. Humanity's quest is to harness its power and escape its bonds. Holy cow! This is what an astronaut feels. It creates and breaks the stars, the planets, the galaxies, and directs their cosmic roller coaster ride. Gravity's our friend and our foe. Without it, life as we know it would end the Earth would literally explode. It is the magnificent and mystifying force that rules the universe, gravity. Gravity is the most pervasive force in the universe. It is at work on massive and minute scales, on the routine and the extreme. A surfer needs it to hang 10. When you ride a wave, you're gonna slide down the front and you're gonna use that pull of gravity to get you going. It's your acceleration force. It's your accelerator, gravity's your accelerator. A skier uses it to race downhill. A snowboarder must have it to get big air. It acts on everything with mass, including us, 24-7, even when sleeping or standing. Gravity here on Earth, of course, is always accelerating us down toward the center of the Earth at 32 feet per second squared. At a theme park, gravity is the galactic gas that makes roller coasters roar and people scream. The gravity of the Earth pulls us down, and that's going to make us go really, really fast. All objects with mass or energy, particles, people, planets, stars, and galaxies produce gravity. Omnipotent and omnipresent, gravity attracts, governs, warps, shapes, makes and takes all matter and mass in the universe.